Hello again. It's uh, just approaching quarter to nine. We're delighted to say hello once more to the one and only Dana Dawes. You are looking stunning. Thank you, Nick. Say, so. That's very nice of you to say so, especially at this time of the morning. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel marvellous. Really? Yes, All is going well, wonderful. going ahead well. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. And what have you yeah. got for us today then? I've got something rather, rather splendid today. No particular name on it, but. Uh, it's food, isn't it? That's the most important thing. I could murder this bacon at so the moment. So could I. I it's, been, it's been sitting here now while I've been waiting for the, t for the cameras to come on. And so I think, oh, if I could just take a bite out of that. Anyway, as you can all see, it's a bacon sandwich. Oh, wow. <laughs> two rashes of bacon on two slices of wholemeal bread. And uh, sorry to say, it's 235 calories. Always the best yeah. things are the most, aren't they? And no butter or anything like that. Not a hint of... Well, maybe a little low-fat spread. Just a Thank scraping, mm, just a scraping. <laughs> in the old days, I could have eaten three of those in one sitting yeah. without any trouble at all. Now, uh, for lunch, we have pressed chicken and egg with cucumber sauce. And this comprises of cooked chicken, two hard-boiled eggs, and some gelatin, which is something that we very seldom mention on this uh, mm -hmm. programme, and which uh, is incorporated in, I think, practically all of the Excel diet dishes, but of course if you've got the recipe book on one of the tapes then you'll be able to see how to make it and how much gelatin you need uh, because this is part of the uh, part of the whole setup that yes. gelatin fills you up without fattening you up. Yeah, you it, and it comes back to the point I'm always making that the food does look really tasty and tempting. It does doesn't it? Of course mm. the way it's set out is, is a very important uh, part of it and Needless to say, there's a nice green salad, which doesn't, doesn't do anybody any harm, uh, standing by. And the cucumber sauce is delicious. In fact, the smell of it was so lovely. As Nick walked in, I said, there's a lovely smell. He said, it's my aftershave. I said, I hope not, smelling like cucumber sauce. <laughs> right, on to dinner. On to dinner. <laughs> and we have spaghetti. Of course, the uh, wholemeal spaghetti, which is, uh, which is much less fattening than the ordinary, ordinary kind. Spaghetti with cauliflower sauce. And this is a delicious dish, and it's 390 calories. Pretty high, but obviously with spaghetti it has to be. Uh, followed by Jamaican banana. I love these names, you know. Yes, That's so why I was quite thrilled with the, <laughs> with the bacon sandwich, because it hadn't got an exotic name. Jamaican banana. But it is kind of special because it has pineapple and figs. Uh, and that is worth. Uh, that is uh, worth. That is that is <laughs> worth. <laughs> well, I go by right, prices. Enough, that it? is uh, 155 <laughs> calories. So all in all, uh, you've got your thousand calories uh, in this particular spread today. But as I say, my particular favourite is the bacon sandwich. Yeah, and, especially uh, at the moment. Oh, absolutely. And if 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 I were doing this particular diet today, I'd have probably two bacon sandwiches instead of the lunch. But that's the, the beauty of, ca of calorie yeah. counting. You can, you can eat and count whichever and way you like. Match, yeah. it's, I hate being told what to eat on a right. diet because I may not feel like eating a salad at yeah. that particular point of the day. OK, well, we have, in fact, the complete recipe for this delicious-looking spaghetti over there with the cauliflower sauce. It was cooked by the last, but I can tell you by no means the least of the doors dozen. This is Melvin Kaufman, who comes from North London. The wonderful thing about spaghetti with cauliflower is that it looks fattening, tastes fattening, but isn't fattening. Taking a sliced and peeled onion, you place it in a heated frying pan and saute for five minutes. We've nicely sauteed these so that the onions are now brown. We're now going to add a quarter of an ounce of coarsely chopped uh, walnuts, followed by a quarter of an ounce of sultanas. We then add two tablespoonfuls of chicken stock, and that's going to go whoosh. One and a half teaspoonfuls of tomato puree. Next, a shake of oregano. And we now slowly simmer this for 20 minutes. Whilst this is simmering, we're now going to add four ounces of cauliflower 
to boiling salted water and cook them until they are tender, uh, which is about 10 and a half minutes. Whilst the sauce and the cauliflower are cooking, I'm going to measure out two ounces of whole wheat spaghetti, not the white refined spaghetti. We add this to boiling salted water Put it in gently so as not to break it. And we let this boil for approximately 12 minutes. We've now freshly drained the cauliflower, taken the liberty of already draining it. We now add it to the uh, sauce. So, mix it together. I'm just mixing it in and um, Actually breaking it up, the smaller the pieces up, the more delicious it is. I should get it in the face. Um, we. I think the spaghetti is now cooked and I'm going to drain it. Uh, we're now going to serve it. <laughs> Looking delicious. And to finish, a little Parmesan cheese. I wonder if the family will enjoy this. Is it nice? Oh, I'm dying, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's lovely. How many times did you tell her to say that? Twice. Did uh -huh. <laughs> she mean it, actually? Oh, yes. Oh, she's, good. She's... Now, Melvin, you're here to make a confession, aren't you? Yes, darling. All right, all right. We'll try and go easy on you, but Melvin, I have to say, is my only failure. It's a horrible word, well, isn't it? Well, sort of unsuccess, failure. let's put you it like that. You started off well, so didn't you? Tell, tell everybody what happened. Well, I was 15 stone 7. And I got to 13 stone 10. On the XL diet? On your wonderful diet. Thank it was you. absolutely delicious. Oh, so you delicious. did get down to 13 oh, yes. 10? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, good. And, and then, what of course, happened? Well, the pressures of life, generally, and one or two other things. Hunger. Yes, mm. and, uh, you know, being a gourmet as well as a gourmand mm. uh, <laughs> meant that, uh, well, I didn't keep to it. But I'm going back. I mean, I'm looking middle-aged and large and... Well, I, I thought you looked rather nice on that film, oh. mate. She went a very good <laughs> ad for the diet, but you looked lovely. And, and, You're an optician uh, <laughs> with lots of patients who'll give you a hard time, aren't they? I'm, I'm not allowed to talk about it. I know. That. You've let the side down, haven't oh. you? Yes. But we'll try again. Well, I, I think, really, it was a crisis of willpower. Let's get it? on these yes. shows. Just tell me, it was your wife who got you into this in the first place? Yes. Because she's got a health and slimming club or something. Yes. She's slim and beautiful and lovely. I don't know how she's married. What does she <laughs> think about you, then? Come on, I think, that, I think she this just is loves it. me. Just, just hold it. Let's just remind ourselves. You were 15 stone. Seven. And here we go. I'll leave one well, foot off. there's no point. He's going to weigh more anyway. <laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> Melvin, back on the Excel well, diet. It's very brave of you to come on it. It's sort of 15 stone 12 ish, isn't it? Well, sort it's of a marvellous diet, diet. diet. You shouldn't have put him on the scales then because know. we know he made more. Right, forget so. we ever did it. Well, you're trying to shame him come into going on, back. All what, right. Where are we aiming for? I'm, I'm aiming for 11 7. Yes, we're a week away from your birthday. Yes, we are. So. You're looking younger, Diane. Thank you. Oh, nine. 11, I did it. 11 9. Yeah. So oh. we're just, uh, is that 11 we're nine? Yes, no, it I is. just want to check that. Yes, OK. Yeah. <laughs> 11 nine, so we've got a week to go. A week two to more go pounds, for two and pounds, and I've then. achieved my target. Diana, well done. Great. Thanks a lot. Melvin, very brave of you to come along. Good <laughs> yes, to meet thank you. thank you, Melvin. Marvelous Get back diet. on that diet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Cheerio. Right. We'll take a break.
it simply with Hello again. Now, I'm sure uh, millions of women all over the country will have been alarmed by a story we carried earlier today that uh, a report in The Lancet says that uh, uh, a number of women could have increased their chances of breast cancer by up to four times because of the type of contraceptive pill they took, uh, referring particularly to the early 70s. And uh, we have Diana Dawes here to talk to us. I mean, what is your reaction uh, purely as a woman, Diana, to, to that news? Well, I think it's terrifying. Uh, I have never, ever been an advocate user of the pill. I think anything like that is very dangerous. When it was first discovered in the 60s, you know, everybody went mad and it was great. It was the liberation of women and so on. But somehow it never appealed to me because it was an unnatural thing to do. And I have noticed over the years many women who have been on the pill who have complained of headaches, depression, and all kinds of things. You know, when you think about it, a little pill can upset your entire system. And mm -hmm. now that this news has come out, I'm afraid my, my earlier and worst fears have been, have been confirmed. Yes, well, I must uh, stress that The Lancet are keen to emphasise that people should not panic and that they should go to their GPs if they have um, any worries that they want to sort out. But uh, I, they are very keen to stress that people should not panic. So, you know, uh, women do. One thing I, I, I've, I've often discussed this with, with other women, and uh, they've looked at me in horror when I've said, no, there's no way I would ever take the pill. And they, why not? Because they, women, after it was discovered, seemed to panic if they thought that they couldn't use it. Mm -hmm. You know, there are, there are so many other safer methods to use. Well, let's uh, move on to a lighter note now, because uh, the man sitting next to you says that he can eat and eat and eat. Oh, I mean, of me. course, I shall kill him. <laughs> him. Oh, I thought it was one of you were talking <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> I shall kill him. him. <laughs> yes, uh, although I'm not a great eater. I mean, mm. I'm, not, I'm not one of these people that live to eat. I eat to live. Mm -hmm. You know, when I get hungry, I eat. We yes, all do. The same. Yes. Trouble <laughs> is, some of us It's can't. what you eat at the time, yeah. Uh, can but you I give your uh, sort of expert opinion? Is Robin Gibb overweight? Uh, <laughs> Am I overweight? Uh, he looks as though he's been on three XL diets, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robin, I don't mean that. No, no, I know what you mean. The trouble is, I can eat. Uh, when I want to put on weight, I can't put it on. I, I, I'll go on a diet to put on weight, and I take everything, including these sort of white powders that they sell in the chemist to put on weight, you know, mm. weight gain, you know, yes. 190 <laughs> pounds in course. one day. Yes. You, you see, know? really? <laughs> And truly, that must be uh, as frustrating or as, as miserable as, as putting Absolutely, on weight. Yes. Because if you become obsessed with trying to put on weight and you can't, I should imagine that mentally it has uh, quite a. a it's it's an the same effect, thing. Right? Wearing clothes, for instance. If you're overweight, wearing, wearing clothes can't look too good. As I say, if you're underweight, wearing clothes can't look too good. So you because yeah, you can't go into a shop and get something that's. Oh, no. I don't know. No. Who is it who said a, a woman can never be too thin or too rich? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One of your old boyfriends. It was Wincy. It was Wincy. It was not. It was not. I'm not fat, am I? Anyway, I haven't got long to tell you about the weather, so I can't talk about being fat. This morning, there's quite a, a lot of.